Hello, my dear friends. My name is Sarita. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I have two cucumber candles for you today and I wanna compare them. So these are both from the same company, which is Stonewall Kitchen. Um, and there are two lines that Stonewall Kitchen now manages and develops. One of them is one they procured, which is Village Candle. And the candle in question here is Sea Salt Cucumber. Is that it? Yeah, Sea Salt Cucumber. And this is a little one. They come in various different sizes. And then, oh my gosh, I have the wrong lid on this one. But um, the second one is Stonewall Home. I'm having trouble with my camera. Um, Stonewall Home has fresh cucumber. So fresh cucumber and sea salt cucumber right here. I actually have a white barn lid on this because those of you who burn candles all the time know that you just have candles and lids all over the place and this got misplaced. Um, usually, actually here, usually this is the kind of lid that um, would, right here. It's got like the Stonewall home logo on it. <laughs> okay, there we go, fixed. <laughs> um, okay, so these are two cucumber candles that I bought a while back. And um, since they're from the same company, and frankly, they share a lot of scent notes, I thought that I would review them in tandem so that you could have a good sense. Um, so uh, let's start out with Village Candle. Village Candle Sea Salt Cucumber. Now, Village Candle is paraffin. This is paraffin, and um, the Stonewall Home Candles are a soy blend. This one is a three wick, and this one is a two wick looks like this. And they're a little bit more like a traditional Yankee candle tumbler kind of vibe. Okay, so the Village Candle on the website, it says that the top notes for this one, which is sea salt cucumber, pomelo, sea salt accord, cucumber, kiwi, and then the middle notes are water lily, melon, leafy greens, and the base notes are teak wood, driftwood, agave leaf, and moss. Um, and when I initially smelled this as a first impression, I was kind of weirded out because for a while I was smelling it and I thought to myself, yes, there is a cucumber note, but there's something else here that's funky and that's like the main note. And then all of a sudden it came to me, it was like cantaloupe. It's cantaloupe basically. So then I looked back at the, the notes and sure enough, melon is in the middle of the mid notes. Um, and I would say that that's the dominant note. <laughs> it's, a, it's basically a cantaloupe and cucumber kind of candle. Um, I'm not getting a ton of citrus like with the pomelo. Sea salt, possibly. So this is not a terribly sweet candle especially with the cantaloupe um, and with the kiwi and with the water lily, et cetera, agave leaf. Um, you would expect like a really sweet candle. And this one is actually not. It's more green than anything else. It has a very fresh and light profile. And so I think that the sea salt, if it's there, and there is something maybe vaguely aquatic, is just kind of like cutting the sweetness and allowing the like fresh savory nature of the cucumber to come out over like against the cantaloupe melon, which is a little bit more sweet. So most of the sweetness here is coming from the melon and then the, the cucumber is just like dovetailing with it really nicely. I don't really love cantaloupe. I don't even know that I love melons across the board, although I can tolerate watermelon. Um, and I don't love that note in candles very often. So I was really concerned about this one, but I'm very happy to say that I enjoy it a great deal. I just think it's really nice. Um, and frankly, I think I like it a little bit better than the Stonewall Home one because I just think there's a little bit more going on. I think that this is kind of a really nice authentic um, cucumber melon. So you know how Bath & Body Works has that like cucumber melon candle, which actually came out this summer um, during the semi-annual sale. Um, and 
I think it's sold out. I, I think it's probably not available at this point, but Cucumber Melon is obviously kind of a legacy fragrance, body care fragrance for Bath & Body Works. Usually does not come out as a candle. It did this year though. Um, and I smelled it. I did not buy it. Um, Cucumber Melon definitely brings back nostalgic memories from like the 90s. But for me, it's a little synthetic. It's, it's synthetic and commercial. And it definitely feels, maybe it's just association, but it definitely feels more like um, a very sweet body care fragrance more than anything else. This is, as it were, an acoustic performance. It's an acoustic, lightweight performance of Cucumber and Melon. So it has a great deal more authenticity than Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon. Yeah, and it's just, it's light as opposed to like thick, like a lotion, <laughs> which is kind of, and a fragrance mist. It's just not heavy quite in the way that Bath & Body Works is, is. It's less powerful though too. So the strength and throw on this one was very moderate. I would say it was probably in the five range, probably about five, maybe 5.5, but I think five. Unfortunately, it, it burned really fine. Um, it does require a little bit of time to pull out, but other than that, it's really fine. Um, Stonewall Home, fresh cucumber, did not burn as well. Suffered sometimes with puny wicks. As you can see, I've got some dragging here that I just, no matter how long I burned it, couldn't get it to pull out. Um, sometimes it burned fine, but I don't love the fact that there's a good third of the candle here that I feel like I can't burn and I'm gonna need to put it in a crock. The strength and throw on this was not as good as the Village. I, it was definitely a five and I would actually put it at more of a four. Like it was between a four to a five. So maybe average 4.5. This one <laughs> has fewer notes. Um, and I apologize because um, this only exists, it's on clearance. I think they're discontinuing it. Um, the only one that you can get right now is I think actually one of the apothecaries. So here's, here's an apothecary style um, for Stonewall Home, which is a two wick with this um, recessed lip. Um, and I believe that's the only format in which you can get fresh cucumber at this point. But the good news is it's 50% off which is how I got this one too. So it's like 10 bucks, it's 9.95, something like that, right? So 9.95 for this medium one. What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. Um, it, and, and it would be a two wick, by the way, rather than a three wick. I knew what I was about to say. I went to the website to figure out what the scent notes were for this particular candle and they just duplicated the scent notes from Village Candle. And I know that that's not right because when I originally bought these candles, I noticed that the scent notes were different, slightly different, but still different. So when they clearanced this one off, they there was some sort of mix up. So they just duplicated the notes for this. This is very similar. This one is a little bit more, synthetic is not the right word, but it's a little bit more, there's a soapier dimension to this one. Whereas with this one, I'm getting a little bit of the cucumber skin and it may also be the leafy greens, but I'm getting a little bit more of a like um, vegetal greenness from this one. This one has the beautiful soft, um, and fairly authentic green cucumber smell. Like it doesn't smell um, inauthentic or synthetic. Um, and in that sense, a very similar note. But here, instead of the bite of the green vegetal, it has this slightly sweet and soapiness, or if not a soapiness, like a, a cotton blossom or something. So it just goes like a tiny bit laundry, just a little bit. And in that sense, this one comes across as fresher in kind of a clean way. Um, whereas this one is a little bit more botanical, a little bit more fruit forward with the cantaloupe and with the, the green vine kind of feel to it. 
This one has removed those green elements and replaced it with something that is fresh and like a soapy fresh maybe, but it's not, it's not overkill. Like you don't smell, immediately you don't think laundry detergent. It really is very cucumber forward, but the finish on it is fresh and clean. Um, and like I said, it was softer and it definitely didn't have as good of a strength as this one. And this one didn't have like a huge amount of strength too. So I don't know that I can really highly recommend either one of them, except that I do have to say that I love the fact that they're both acoustic performances. <laughs> I like the fact that it's a cucumber that really, that doesn't smell like a Bath and Body Works cucumber. It smells like a legit cucumber. And in that sense, really nice for spring and summer because of their um, rather limited strength and throw. Um, I found that I had to burn them in a very small space, i.e. a bathroom. And actually they ended up being fantastic bathroom candles. Sometimes it's kind of weird, like deciding what it is that you're gonna burn in the bathroom in terms of fragrance. And it often just ends up being like a candle that you have that has fairly limited strength and throw. But for instance, like gourmand candles in the bathroom can be kind of weird for some people. Like, do I need like a chocolate chip cookie or a chocolate cake like burning in my bathroom? Like I just, it doesn't feel right. Um, I, the vibe of the cucumber in the bathroom was gorgeous. Both of them were. And I actually have to give a little bit of a shout out to this one specifically because of that like clean nature to it. It just was a little spa-like, and there was something about the cucumber that just, when I entered the bathroom, I felt clean, I felt fresh, I felt zen. Like, if you take a bubble bath or something, like, it's just, it's it really does give you all of the spa feels in a most beautiful way, in a space where you really want to feel spa-like frankly, no matter what it is that you're doing in the bathroom. It's just, it's a great vibe. So I discovered that. This, this, these cucumbers, these beautiful cucumbers, they just gave me all the bathroom feels. <laughs> and I thought that they were super appropriate. It's not something I would think of to burn in a bathroom, but like, it just worked so well. So. I recommend cucumbers for your bathroom. I just really do. I wonder if like herbal stuff would do well too, you know, especially if it was like kind of a fresh herbal as in a green growing herbal. I don't know. Anyway, close parentheses on that. This one is available in all formats through Village Candle. Um, and I would wait for a sale. Stonewall Kitchen does do a lot of sales. Um, fresh cucumber, if you want this, get it now because it is $10, $10 until it goes. So it's, it's clearanced off and it's only in that one medium apothecary design, um, but probably worth $10 for your bathroom. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.